Bates' name is Jessica. She's in a wheelchair. I say fantastic. Because this is going to sound really selfish, but just once I'd like to be able to dance better than one of my dates. But you know what, thinking back on it, she can probably cat daddy like nobody's business. <laughs> So they, they assign me my date, and like they said, just go wait over there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for a long time, and I start getting worried. Because, you know, I know she's not walking, and I'm just guessing, like, it's probably gonna, like, it's taken a while. Like, maybe something happened to her, like, her arms got tired. But, um, like, two and a half hours goes by, and I just decide that I'm gonna leave, because she's probably not coming. I got stood up by a girl that can't actually stand up. <laughs> oh man, that's it's it's really bad. And like I I get myself in trouble saying stuff like that. Like uh, I was in Las Vegas for my twenty first birthday. Woo! Yeah, he was there also. Oh, and like we were on the strip, and it was like the terrible part of the strip where all the people are like handing out business cards. And like on one side of the card it has a phone number, and on the other side of the card it has a naked woman. We were uh, walking down, and there's this like group of four girls ahead of me, and they say, Oh my god, how desperate do you have to be to call and order a prostitute? And me, trying to be helpful, says, Probably desperate enough to kidnap somebody. You know, I, I wasn't really thinking about it, and looking back, it sounds kind of rapey. But uh, I was trying to be helpful. I thought that they needed to know. I mean, it's a lot of work to like abduct a girl to make her like a sex slave. You have to grab her by the hair, pull her into the back of the van, or you can sit in your sad hotel room and order her like it's Domino's. <laughs> but I mean, like, uh, it's, it's not even like the worst. Like, for my 18th birthday, I got a phone call from my grandma. It's the typical birthday phone call. Like, hey, what are you doing today? Do you, you get anything special? And uh, for some reason, my 70-plus-year-old Jewish grandmother decided to ask, so, now that you're 18, are you going to go buy pornography? Yeah, me too. I, I panicked, I didn't know what to say, so I said the first thing that popped in my head, which was, uh, forget that, I'm gonna go star in pornography now. <laughs> Deep, dark silence on the, on the other end of the line. I was like, oh my god, I killed my grandmother. She's gonna write me out of the will. This is the worst day of my life. But thankfully she laughed, and she said, ha ha ha, I'd like to see that. <laughs> I, I know what she meant. I know what she meant, I know ha ha ha, yeah right, but I'm a very visual person, and ha ha ha, I'd like to see that takes me to the worst possible place. Grandma calling all the neighbors over, popping in the DVD, hey guys, check this out, it's my grandson banging the blonde, three and a half inches of Asian fury, not having grandkids. Thank you guys so much, all 12 of you that are here.